Hi there, quick um, run through some parts on ZBrush, just a quick um, overview really, an up and running job. We're running a very small screen size, so we've got um, ZBrush flashing away saying what do you want to do, and um, we'll, we'll just start with a basic, you've got some sort of like starting point, so we're going to start with a polysphere, keep it simple, click on that, and we've got a very small interface to play with because we want to YouTube this. Okay, so how we work in this is we've got um, ZBrush works like a sort of a digital clay or digital wax or whatever you want to call it and um, here's our ball of clay and we can sort of deform it and do various things just undo that we have different tool sizes so at the moment we've got this big red circle in the middle and a little circle inside that and a little red dot inside that where your cursor is and that's the size of the tool you're playing with now the inner circle is the 100% strength and the outer circle is how it fades off to basically not work anymore. So that's the basic size of it. If you work it like a, it's a bit like a looking at a magnet's influence on how much it's going to move something. The the middle circle is 100% influence, and the outside circle is zero. So it's going to fade from that middle circle to the outside one. Now you can change the style of that. I think called focal shift, which means now. The, the the middle circle's quite small, so that's that's the way it's going to move it the most, and then it's going to fade out to the edge, or go on here. This is right and click by to get this popped up, and the focal shift to drop it down the opposite way. Basically, it's going to work all the time, and there's a little bit of fade off towards the ed edge. You notice we've now got two dots kicking about because I'm running with symmetry on here. So um, let me show you where you get symmetry from. If you go up to the transform tool up here, transform button click on that you'll notice that there's um, symmetries here and we've got it on X and you can put it on X Y and Z so it can be working two two things you see there's four dots now we can sort of do that we'll undo that let's change the size of this so right hand click and draw size drop that down so we've now got four dots like that okay and we'll undo that actually we won't we will just go and to transform and we'll just switch Y off so for most of the times, um, just keep it one axis, and you can sort of do crazy things. And how nice is that? Quite nice, right? And we'll right and click, and we'll change the focal shift down. There we go. So we're doing less things. There we go. Right. So um, to move your object around, because at the moment we've not even moved it. If you move your cursor out to one side, you notice it changes from being um, your brush cursor to a transform cursor and we can click on with the left hand mouse button and we can sort of rotate it round. We can snap it back to the front if you're trying to work out where the front was and you sort of is it there, is it there or there or there. We want to snap it to that one angle. If you go off a little bit so it's not quite right, hold down the shift key on your keyboard and then click and drag with your left hand mouse button. That's going to snap it back to the front. Alright, so there you go. The how strong the overall intensity of your uh, tool or your brush you're using um, is set up here or you can right hand click and change it so you've got the intensity at the moment the Z intensity is 25 so I can drag that up to be a lot higher when I'm clicking and dragging it's going to draw quite high I'll go back to the right hand side and just have a quick look around also this, this basic um, blob of clay you're working with has got several variations on it on its resolution you can up and down res it depending what, what you uh, need to do and to do that to find that sort of um, area to go and change you click on geometry over the right hand side here and you can lower the res down to the original one so that's quite a low polygon version there you can actually see the square polygons here you can overlay a wireframe on top of that this little frame button here wireframe and then when you go up your resolutions it sort of draws on top of it so you get an idea of what you've deformed and how far it's gone okay um, the other thing you might want to go and do is just switch polyframe off again is you do you do a bit of work and you're sort of building these things out um, you say okay well how do I build it in how do I actually cut into the geometry well at the moment you're using Z add at the top you're adding to geometry if I go and press Z sub you're going to be subtracting so that's going to go and cut in you'll notice it is cutting in can you see that it's actually cutting into the geometry there alright so you, you've got a switch here Z add or Z sub so I can add for one two there you go or I can subtract with this one 
cut stuff out and see it like cut into it and there we go big holes all around there we go now the other thing you want to do you, you might want to sort of like well it's a bit harsh want to sort of smooth this off well, you've got a smooth button down here at the moment you're using the standard uh, brush if we go down all these different types we'll have a look at a couple of them we've got a smooth one and that will just smooth that over yeah and just bring it back a little bit so we've got Z add Z subtract and smooth is your basic tool set um, now if I go to Z add again that's going to go push that back in again actually would if I press the standard button there we go and then I can press Z sub and that's going to subtract it now rather than going up and down here and swapping that out if I press the alt key if I'm, if I'm actually selecting Z add as my default if I press the alt key down I can then subtract without having to go and switch it at the top there and then let go of the alt key and I'm adding again and then to smooth my shortcut key for that is a shift key and it will turn blue then that will then smooth those back out again what smoothing is doing is looking at the underlying displacement map and basically blurring it and averaging the pixels out that's how it sort of works so you get a visual feedback of that so uh, normal one is there we go we're building stuff and alt is the switch over so going to whatever the opposite is and it's going to go and cut away and then hold down the shift key and that is going to do smoothing basically right and the actual tool we're playing with at the moment so it, and clicking outside in this area click and dragging is going to rotate it around the actual tool we're playing with at the moment is just this white uh, brush if I click on that I can choose different brush types so let's go and change to a different brush type just to give you a, a flavour of what we can play with so if I go and click on um, let's have a look we'll try this if I click on that and use that as my brush then we get this it's actually taking on the aspects of uh, the detail of this black and white image and it's using that as part of the brush that's how you're going to brush things so you can get quite interesting textures don't forget you can smooth it back out again if you need to yeah you can swap it over so you can have something weird and wacky your little circles and depending on what's going on don't forget you can change the size of this so you hit the draw size and we get a big circle so we can sort of put big nasties on it, what are we doing this for, I don't know and there we go there you go, that sort of works that out and shift key just to smooth it back down again like I say, shift key sort of blurs what you're looking at if you want to lock it down, hold down the uh, shift key, click and drag on the outside ok, and that's going to go and do that, hold down shift and we'll just sort of smooth all that out and basically that's a quick run around um, just to get you up and running now to save to save the uh, object you're playing with um, up here you save tools not actual documents documents is a whole different ball of chalk you're going to save the tool the tool is this object you're making at the moment and it's, it's set you in edit mode and you are drawing and you're going uh, save as you save a tool yeah, and you can export as well, you can export it as a 3D object if you need to and for this short video that sort of gets you in the mood to do stuff doesn't it so um, tweaking is like moving as well so it's like a move tool, like a magnet tool yeah, you can move things around don't forget we have got symmetry on here yeah, so the tweak tool is like a magnet tool I'd, I'd have really called it a magnet tool to move things around and don't forget the fall off idea works here so we can change the focal shift down or up there we go so it's a lot more interesting and inflate basically um, we can guess it sort of inflates things basically and blah, 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 a whole load of things and we're running out of time so that will have to do is and I'll come back and do uh, part two um, another time so thanks for your time anyway and have fun with uh, ZBrush if you're getting interested. There will be a demo version soon, um, but at least you know what it sort of um, basically can do. Uh, and there you go. Thanks very much. Cheers.